Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. I have a redstone contraption for you that takes advantage of the lectern block. This is part of Minecraft 1.14 and in snapshot 19w02a this was given functionality with redstone which we are taking advantage of to create a sort of command control center where you'll be able to use the lectern to activate things in and around your base. So I need you to use your imagination at this point. As you can see, I've written Toggle Mob Farm. That's what this page of the book would do. And I put down a whole bunch of ideas for things that could be in and around your base, maybe actually near the lectern as well. And then you could go into this book, look through and choose the one that you want to use. This is really cool because you can put a whole bunch of text on each page describing what each thing does. Now over here, you'll see that the redstone torch has moved to a different position. And if you think that's the whole contraption, this is just an example. We've got a little bit more to build, first of all. So I'm going to open the book and now move like this. And you can see that the torches are moving their way downwards. And when we go up, they actually turn off. So there's like a, a different type of delay in each direction that you move. Now, if you hook this up directly to a redstone contraption, you'd be sending a signal every time that you press this, which is probably not what you want. You'd want to pick the page in the book and then press a button to activate it. So here is that button and as you can see we've replaced all of our torches on this side with repeaters and only one of them is turned off. On the opposite side we have repeaters that are turned on pointing into all of these torches. So this means that the torches are off, however when we unpower this side the one that we have selected is going to turn on and if you haven't figured it out each page of the book is basically each one of these. So the very first page is the first one down here and then you know the fifth page is the fifth one along. So if I press the button, now you can see that the fifth torch is the one that turns on. So the next step is to get all of these signals out to the contraptions that you've listed inside of this lectern, as this is the place where you control all of them from. And things can get a little bit hairy when you've got lots of signals in a space together. So what you want to do is double up those torches and then put them into a row of blocks with alternating torches on either side and then this simply separates the redstone so it's not side by side and allows you to take it wherever it needs to go into your base to the contraption listed inside of the book. So when it comes to a tutorial there is really no need for a block by block recreation of this. You'll be able to pause the video at many points in this and figure out all of the wiring. The most important thing though is this view right here. You can see the very first part of the contraption and the rest of it is obviously very simple. The one thing you can't see here is there's an extra redstone wire over the end and you're probably wondering how this works. Well let me explain. Down the front here we have a comparator taking a signal from the lectern. Depending on what page we have selected that signal is going to be stronger or weaker. And then over here we have a comparator on subtract mode. It is essentially going to create the opposite signal strength to the one that we have over here. It then passes it down through these other comparators without losing any of that signal strength until we get to the end over here. So this one is a lot weaker because that one is stronger and the distance of the redstone means that one piece will be left out every time and that is the one that we have selected in the book. So let's come over here, let's select a lower page. You know what's going to happen, it's going to move down to that position and that's because the signal here gets weaker and then on the opposite side it gets stronger. So one last thing to mention, your output is going to just simply be a pulse and that might not interact with the contraption listed over here correctly. So it's probably a case of leading the wire over to the contraption and then making sure it interacts with it correctly. So if you are a redstone novice, this might not actually be the type of contraption that works for you as you'll have to convert the signal that comes out of here to interact with your contraption correctly. Anyway, I believe that is pretty much everything you'll need to know about this. So let's wrap up the video here. If you have enjoyed it, then leave a like. As always, thank you for doing that. It supports the channel. Your support is appreciated and I'll see you soon with another one. Bye-bye.